Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about solving this type of problems. To send your own questions, please consider subscribe our channel. So let's do a quick analysis. So we're going to divide it by 40 on both sides to normalize. So we're going to get into the standardized uh, form. And since radical 10 are square roots of 10, so on the bottom we're going to get 10. I just expressed it into the square form. Since the square roots of 10 is bigger than square roots of 8, it's going to be elongated x-axis. A quick summary here. In order to graph this, uh, two things you need to remember. It's always elongated the long axis. So how do you know? Well, if it's elongated y-axis, then the larger number is divided under y. If it's elongated x-axis, then the larger number is divided under x term. Uh, it's the shifting of the center uh, away from the 0, 0. It's always x minus cx, whatever is shifted to, and y minus cy. And that's really from the distance formula. Now, in our case, we are not shifting because x is uh, by itself and y is by itself. So let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. Normalizing into 1, you have a square root of 10 on the x, under the x term. So it's going to be elongated along x-axis. Radical 10 or square root of 10 is roughly 3.16, is slightly over 3. And the other one is slightly under 3. So here's the graph. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.